so she's a little upset. Yeah, I've never met Brandy before. She's one of my favorite R&B singers, so mm -hmm. I might be a little starstruck when I see her. Brandy and uh, Aaron Carter. Aaron Carter's my boy. I've seen him perform in Tampa, and him being at LA Pride showing support will be pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting thing. I've never been there, so. But. Interesting to see what it's all about. Yeah, and don't worry, no one's gonna mess with you or anything, you know. I, I got your bodyguard, right? Yeah, I'm your bodyguard, and you're like my little brother, so I'm gonna make sure that no one messes with you. You hear me? Huh? As long as we hold hands. It's all love, love. Cali shake. As long as we hold hands the whole time. Cali shake. No. Come on, man, Cali shake. I don't do that. Ever since coming out, every day is a coming out experience. You um, see someone at the gym and you make eye contact, they look at you and, uh, oh man, this is a big guy, this looks like an athlete or something. And you cross paths and you exchange names and immediately, they, immediately that person Googles you and they see that you know, you're the first openly gay uh, WWE superstar. So they can either you know, say, oh, you know, I don't think this guy is you know, worth talking to, or they can be like, oh man, what a bold move. And majority of the time, I've come across some wonderful people that uh, my story has changed their life. And they've been able to live their life openly and honestly, and at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. When people look at me, people look at me as a larger than life superstar, but I still look at myself as that heavy kid growing up, that kid with that speech impediment. So when I walk into a room, all eyes are on me. And uh, I just don't look at myself as a celebrity. I just look at myself as your everyday guy. I love to work out. I love to look good. And I guess looking good, hey, I guess I look like a celebrity. Ever since coming out publicly to the world, uh, I've been able to attend Prides every year. I've been able to attend New York Pride. I've been able to attend Miami. I've been able to attend LA several times. And years ago, I, to the world, I looked down upon it. And again, I was a, I was a nobody. I'm still nobody, I feel like it. But I would look down upon these pr Pride parades and all that stuff. And um, in all actuality, I was living a lie myself. And uh, I just hated myself and hated myself. And just, just imagine, just imagine one of your most downest moments in your life and times it by 10. I lived my life for 30 years suppressing all these feelings and enough was enough. So now I'm able to go to these pride parades and show my love and show my support and do it normal couples do because I was always fearful of holding hands with my partner or being affectionate just like any other normal couple. Now I'm able to live my life the way I want to live just like any other normal couple because at the end of the day that's what it's all about living your life the way you want to live. When I had the opportunity to meet Brandy at LA Pride, and she was so nice, I got a money shot with her. And one of my favorite songs growing up, I was probably like in fifth grade, or yeah, fifth grade or sixth grade, was The Boy's Mine. And all the kids would be singing the song, The Boy Is Mine. And I never, I never really sung the words out loud because I thought it wasn't masculine, you know? So back home in my own room, I would be like, The Boy Is Mine. <laughs> So, uh, but in front of my friends, I'd be like, the girl's mine. It was all a lie. It was all a lie. It was the boy's mine. Relax, it's coming. Don't rush me. I'll be at peace when I get rid of these. And spread the word.